So let's talk about how to set up a Google Ads location radius. And I'm in the new Google Ads user interface. Uh, if you if yours doesn't look like this, you should be able to switch between the new and the old one up here. Of course, that's probably going to go away at some point. But in the new setup of Google Ads, new user interface, what we'll do is come over here and select a campaign. So loca locations are set up at the campaign level. So once we have a campaign selected here, we're going to see this campaign settings show up right here. If you click on that, that's going to pop open the campaign settings here. And I've created a video on my channel if you want to search it up to show how to optimize all of these settings. But specifically, we're going to be looking at the locations right here. So we click this little drop down arrow. That's going to show us all the location information. And you'll need to use this enter another location option if you're going to be setting a radius. And you can see right here, we already have a 15 mile radius around San Antonio, Texas. To kind of see how this looks, we can click the advanced search right here. And now you can see that we actually have a radius targeting basically all of San Antonio. And San Antonio, like lots of modern cities in the United States, has a looping freeway system. So that kind of like is, you kind of want to target people who are within that because it's easy to get to those people. So if this is a service-based business where we show up to the person's location to provide a service like at their home or what have you. Uh, you know, we want to make it so that it's not taking forever to, to get to the customers and provide services, right? <laughs> so uh, one easy way to do that in this specific instance is to use a location radius. And to do that, basically, well, part of the reason why we would want to do this is because if we if we just tried to target San Antonio by using the location here, like actually targeting the city itself, then you'll see we're going to miss out on all these people out here, all these people over here, all these people in here. Granted, there's some extra stuff showing up, but we might not want to be traveling all the way out here in order to serve people. So in this case, it makes sense to, you know, like let's say this company is based in the middle of San Antonio. It's a 15 mile radius out to any of these locations, which means it's going to be easy to serve customers in this geographic region, right? Now, you can adjust this targeting as well. Now, let's remove the actual location targeting. If we click this pen tool, you'll see we have the ability to change the targeting here. So we can expand that out, we can restrict it, maybe we only want it to be at 12 miles, so it's like within the loop. Um, you have the option to do that. And then if, in order to set a location radius, you just switch over from location to radius here. And then you can type in San Antonio, click target, and because we have this set to 20 miles here, of course you can switch between miles and kilometers, uh, you could have set this to 30 and then do San Antonio again and it's just going to keep targeting larger areas. It's not usually an issue if you're targeting areas that you're already targeting so like if you have overlapping targeting on geo targeting it's usually not that big of a deal uh, but let's just go ahead and get rid of these for right now set this back to how we had it and then there's another way that we can set location targeting with a radius which is through the pin mode. So if you click on pin mode, it's then going to use this number here as the default that it's going to allow us to set a radius. But sometimes you want to target a specific area and there's no way to search it up through here. Um, or when you do set it, it's not targeting the right place. So you can actually come in here and like, let's say for whatever reason, we just want to target this spot in between these two cities. It'd be pretty hard to do that just through a search. But we can just drop a pin here and target that section of this geographic area right away. You can also adjust this. So maybe we want it to be a little bit bigger. We want to catch all of this area. So you can see how you can just start peppering the map here and getting it to target any specific geographic area that you want to target. 
And of course you can click on these to remove them. If you decide, okay, maybe we don't want to target those areas, just quickly go through and remove those. Then once you're done, once you have it the way you want, just make sure you click save. And then you'll need to actually save it again right here. However, before, uh, before you finish up setting your geographic targeting, it's important to mention this other little drop down here, the location options. If you expand that out, it's going to show us two options. By default, it's going to be on this one right here, which is going to allow your ads to show to people who are located in the geographic area, but also people who are searching about this area. And what, what I've found over the years is when you have this set, oftentimes what will happen is it'll get you a lot of telemarketers that'll call you. So, you know, like somebody in New York City who's searching like home builders in San Antonio, Texas. Then your ads pop up. They click on your ads, which charges you money. And then they end up calling you and being like, hey, do you want to buy my services? And you're like, what the heck's going on here? If you're seeing stuff like that happen, go ahead and switch over to this presence, which basically means that it's only going to show ads to people who are actually in this geographic area within the radius that you're targeting here. Nine times out of ten, that's going to work best. If you want to, if you want to serve ads to people who are not in, you know, like not in San Antonio but are searching about San Antonio then usually the best way to do that is to like target the whole United States and then just add San Antonio into your keywords. So like San Antonio home builders. And then somebody, let's say somebody's in New York and they want to build a new home in San Antonio, they would be typing San Antonio home builders, then your ads would pop up and people would be able to click on it and get in touch with you. So again, once you're done with that, make sure you click save. And it might ask you, hey, did you know that you're going to be removing some locations? Do you want to continue? I usually just say, hey, I don't really need to be warned about that, obviously. I removed it all on my own. Click continue. Then it's going to actually save that. And now we have our location radius set up to target only people who are in this actual radius, the geographic area on the map. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of uh, location radius targeting or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.